Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm showing you how to model a rapier in Blender 2.79, not 2.8 yet. We'll just have to wait for me to eat this apple first. Alright, so we don't need this anymore because we're going to make a new one. First thing you need, press Shift A and add in a cylinder. If you press T, you bring out this menu. Down here you can change the number of vertices. Now it has 32, we're doing low poly, so I'm going to go down to 8. You can go lower, you can go higher. Everything works here. It's your it's your project. Then I like to press S Shift Z to scale it like this. You know now it's scaled nice for a grip. And for the rapier, I like to thicken the middle part by going Control R and then adding a loop cut in the middle and pressing S Shift Z again and thicken it up like bit like this. All right, so the bottom part you can press Control Tab to go into face select mode, select this bottom face, and then we can create some kind of a I don't know how how this is called, but uh, a pummel. Why not? It's a pummel. Right, next I like to do the uh, the edge or the actual sword, the part that cuts. So I like to add a cube and then press S, Shift, Z, scale it down to about the size of the sword. And then I like to scale it further. S, Y to scale on the Y axis, S, X to scale it on the X axis. Once you do that, you like the thickness, you can select the top part by pressing Z to go into wireframe mode, C to uh, get the circle select tool. You can use the mouse wheel to change the size. Go up. Something like this is good. And then at the top part, you can just press S Shift Z to scale it, and maybe S X uh, S Y to scale it. So it's a bit more square because rapiers don't have pointy ends. They have this thing, a flat end, I guess. Right. This is a bit too small, so I'm going to pick it up a bit like that. Now I like to add a loop cut in the middle like this. Then what we can do is go into face select mode with control and tab. Select the two side faces with shift and right click. Press S and Y to scale on the Y axis. Now we got this nice edge for the blade. And you can definitely go further than that so it's very thin. So just S Y make it very thin. Now we got this cool look for it. I like to add the guard now. Then you can go ahead while in edit mode, press shift A and then add in a cone. Again, you have to go down here to the vertices. I like to put it down to eight again. I'll, I'll bring it up to around here. And now we gotta do some editing on this cube, right? So if you go control tab, go to vertex select mode, press Z to select this top vertex right here. We don't like this pointy end because it's not very low poly. Actually, it's very low poly, but I don't like it. Before we do anything, I'm just going to add a loop cut in the middle. If you try to do that with Control R, you'll see that it doesn't work. So what I'll do is I'll select the bottom part of this cone and I'll bring it up. Then I'll extrude from down here like this. We got something. It's not it, but it's something. Now select the top part, press X and delete the vertices. Now we can start playing with this. Press E and Z to extrude on the, on the Z axis. Press S, Shift Z to scale it. And now you can just do that thing all over this. So maybe add more more of these uh, cuts, I guess. Once you have it, you can press L while hovering over it to select it and then go down to about this height. Okay, that's uh, way too high. So I'll just select it, S, Shift, Z, or S, Z to scale it and move it down. Once you got what you want, and I think this is way too small of a sword so I'll just select this part and then S Z to scale on the Z axis and move it up. Now that's better. That's much better. Now you can select the bottom part of the cone, press E to extrude S to scale and then E again and then uh, move it up. Press S Shift Z to scale it down and now you got yourself a nice guard. Uh, for the guard I also like to add another cube Press S, Shift, Z, uh, S, just S, normal S, and then S, Z, scale it, move it to about the guard height here, and then take these two sides, and press E to extrude, then right click, and then press S and Y, or S and X, sorry, to about this much. Now press S and Y again to scale it in, and you can then add a loop cut here on one side, Control R, select this, press E to extrude it, maybe you can scale this one down, 
and now you've got yourself a nice guard. Maybe add another loop cut here to make it curved and you got yourself a nice model. Now we need to add materials. For the materials you need one for the blade and you need the second one for the grip or the handle, right? Then select the handle, the part that you want to color, assign and you got yourself a nice, nice drape here. Hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully this helps you, hopefully you learned something new. Go check out my social media and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.